Last video of the year. We made it. All right, it's been a year. Good song by Ashley Cook, if you've never heard that. It's been a year. So I came in today, thought I was gonna finish a mix. I don't know what happened, my computer won't start. So since I'm dealing with backing up <laughs> the computer and getting Time Machine to get me back to a place where I can work again, I thought I'd make a quick video. Uh, basically thanking everyone. Um, like I just said, it's been a year. Um, you know, in full transparency, I never really wanted to start this channel. But as time goes on and you're a business owner, you realize uh, the way of the world is in where it shifts and where it moves. And um, while I am very thankful to have had experience and um, learning from, you know, people that have made records that I probably will chase my whole career. Um, it's wild to think that, you know, people find the stuff that I'm making valuable. So I'm really excited about that. I'm excited for next year. Um, at this point in the year, I do a lot of reflecting, a lot of self-reflecting, uh, which actually is a big thing for me. Um, I try to do that con consistently throughout the year, but at the end of the year, it really gets magnified. So um, from the time with family, the time away from work, um, I'm just really appreciative of all the clients and, and especially everyone here that subscribes to the channel. It means a lot to me. Um, so feel free to write me at any time, tell me uh, video ideas or things that you might wanna see in the new year. I'm really excited, like I said, about the new year. I'm excited about the future of this channel and what could happen. I'm learning more each day about shooting video and doing better video quality for everyone. So not only are the audio concepts solid um, and coming from a solid place, but um, the video quality is also there so you can follow along easily. That's really important to me. So while I got here, I guess I've, I've longed to... Um, I keep bumping this darn keyboard, so forgive me if you're hearing clicks there. I've never really mentioned my story, and I figured at the end of the year, the reflection, it, it's all about that. So long story short for me, uh, I started music roughly 24 years ago. Um, ironically, I came into this room and met a producer that was working here. Uh, he happened to be the brother of my manager at a lumber yard I was working at. At the time, I was, you know, 17, 18, uh, just playing guitar with a buddy. We ended up starting a band. That producer was wildly good at what he did, and he made us way more polished than we were. <laughs> So after that record came out, we got a lot of attention. And I don't mean to say that like egotistically or anything, but it was a really cool time uh, where we assembled a full band, went on tour, did that for a long time, six, seven years. Uh, we're very fortunate to have music and video games and movies and all the uh, sync licensing uh, and DIY effort that exists today. We were really on the forefront of that stuff um, as an artist. And it was all because of the producer that used to uh, work out of this room. So now here we are, 20 some four years later almost. I'm working in this room and it's really surreal. It's very full circle. Um, every day means a lot to me. Um, so without being overly uh, indexing on gratitude or to over index on gratitude rather, um, the journey continued from there. I fell in love with recording. And as my band um, didn't quite, you know, make it, we played showcases and did some really cool things, some tour, big tours, big bands. Um, all that was super good. All a ton of fun. Just four, four guys um, trying to take on the world sort of vibe. Um, but I fell in love with recording. I've been doing it ever since. Um, I don't watch much TV. I literally have been seeking out recording and uh, mixing information since, you know, those days. It was like 06, 07. And doing my own projects, helping, you know, I've been fortunate to get a couple bands signed and, and, and that whole thing. So uh, really fun stuff. And it just leads into more and more and more. And, and now, you know, 
I, I went into, uh, well, not now, excuse me, uh, not scripted here, so just kind of going off the cuff. Um, after working for some years, I wanted a more formal education, so I went to Berkeley and did one of their first waves of online, um, the online stuff that they do now, which the way I understand it is uh, the online curriculum at that time was really similar to the on-campus curriculum, but it was much cheaper. Um, so I got a really good education from Berkeley. Shout out to everybody there. Um, if you anybody happens to see this, that was a great experience. And then I got to work nights and weekends while working a day job. And that was the music industry, right? High highs, low lows, do what you can to, to make a living. No shame in putting an, an honest day's work in and then getting up before your shift and staying up after your shift to try to make your dream come true. Uh, I was fortunate enough in uh, 2015 to leave my day job and go into music full time. And now these days, uh, you know, basically since the pandemic, I hate saying that. I just hate talking about COVID and not because I, like, I detest it or anything. It's just I'm so over that part of, of the world and what we all went through. But um, yeah, I still have a hybrid of, you know, doing some design work. And that's where my marketing and design background comes from. So if you ever talk to me about strategy and your record, it's it's sound fundamentals brought in from agency life and these other roles that I have done. Um, so Dolby Atmos, you know, was a thing this year. I'm really excited about what's happening in that space. And uh, I'm, I'm really hoping that we see the growth uh, or that p p potential filled in that f format. So I'm gonna end this. Thank you all so much for being here. It means a lot that you would subscribe to this channel. Um, I appreciate everyone and their time for the comments and the questions and the encouragement. Um, when I say I never wanted to start this channel, I don't mean to be that, like, I don't mean to be negative about it. I just never envisioned myself um, put, being on camera and I've done this for people. Um, there's a YouTube plaque behind me. I've helped build channels for people, um, but I've never done it for myself. So for me to control the video and, and not just have the creative idea and like, oh, we should shoot like this. And I have this creative idea about the music video and you know, the co-writing that I've done with bands, it's, you know, a lot of times me helping them discover what the creative vision could be um, down from logos to album artwork to what, you know, what they look like on stage and what clothes they're wearing. And uh, with my agency background, and I have access to a lot of photographers and stylists and makeup. And so for those people that come to me, they, they uh, you know, one degree at a time, they can have access to that stuff. So really fortunate for all that, but mainly for this channel, I've learned a ton about myself. Um, even speaking on camera, it's a whole new thing. Uh, I'm my worst critic. So uh, I'm trying to be a little bit more raw. And, you know, if I stumble a word or mess up, just going with the flow, honest authenticity from here. I just want to create great music. I want to help people get better at producing um, or mixing or mastering or, or Dolby Atmos or whatever comes across our plates. Um, and yeah, for you, you know, 370 of you that are here <laughs> uh, or for anyone watching, I really appreciate it. So I hope you had a great year. Be mindful, be intentional next year, make some goals, get after it. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.